I'm Carlin Ross, and this is NewCherryBomb.com's latest edition of Sex in the News. I'm on my way to Betty Dodson's to work out the finer details of merging our websites, so check that out later this month. But I wanted to bring you this news item that I caught on the wires that got zero press because I think it's really important. Canadian doctors are refusing to give single women pap smear tests, citing their religious beliefs against premarital sex. Now, you can need a pap smear and you can have precancerous growth, so you can have all kinds of health issues, even if you're not sexually active. But this is appalling that they would put this burden on women and deny them health care because they believe that women should not be having sex before marriage. Have we ever heard of a situation where a doctor or pharmacist refused to give a man or write a script for Viagra or Valtrex or give him an antibiotic for STDs? Have we ever heard of a urologist refusing to give a man basic tests to see whether or not he's healthy because he's single and he shouldn't be having sex anyway? When I first heard this, I was so enraged that I started the lawyer and me came out and I went through all the reasons why this violated the Hippocratic Oath. I went over all these reasons why this violated basic human rights. It's just so shocking and appalling in 2008 that we could be here. And I was so angry and then I got sad because I thought, is this really that far away from cutting off women's clitorises, female genital mutilation that we see in Africa and the Middle East and India? They're trying to control female sexuality and putting the burden on women to say no. But when is male sexuality discouraged? Women could die because they don't have a pap smear and they haven't caught you know, a health issue. But we don't care, as long as they're not having premarital sex. It's not that far away from putting women in burkas. They're too sexy. They're making men tempted. They make men want to have sex. It's the same line of thinking that if you follow it through, that's where you end up. And this is Canada. This isn't the Middle East. Now, this story comes to us from a woman named Peggy Cook. She's a uh, clinic escort working in Canada. So thank you, Peggy. She has a great blog. Anti-choice is anti-awesome. So we have to stay informed, follow what's going on. It's just, it's almost like we've regressed. Benny and I always talk about this. We have to be on the watch, and we have to support our sisters. So thank you, Peggy. I'm Carlin Ross, and this is the latest edition of Sex in the News.